It's been an exciting and busy year around Hampton City Schools. We have a lot to be proud of with HCS being named winner of the 2017-2018 Digital School District Survey Awards. The award recognizes the division as being innovative in exemplary ways by investing in tools and learning models for the next generation learners. HCS has a 91.4% on-time graduation rate, the highest since 2008. Student participation in dual enrollment increased 500% since 2016, and students earned 3,714 credits this school year. Students also earned 1,373 industry credentials for 2016-2017. Freshmen in our high schools were part of freshman academies, including Success 101, a course designed to equip students with the study and social skills they will need to succeed in high school and in life. Finally, at Bethel High School, 10 students who are members of the Academy of Law and Public Safety completed the requirements of the International Academies of Emergency Dispatch as certified emergency telecommunicators. If you've missed any of this news, it's very easy to keep up with everything that happens around the division. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to HCS on social media. You can also follow the latest news by visiting the HCS website. We also broadcast school-related programming on our PEG TV channel. Before we go, here are some parting words from seniors who are graduating in 2018. I will miss like going to games and just feeling all the excitement about our school and our school spirit and just the enjoyment of it. I made a lot of connections with a lot of people, so I'm really just going to miss the bond because, you know, everybody's going separate, separate ways and everything like that. So I'm going to miss that bond we had. You know, I know there'll always be a phone call away, but, you know, it's just something different, you know, seeing them every day. Well, I'll probably miss a lot of the really good teachers that I've had. They've been really good mentors to me in a lot of aspects, getting me to open up more and be more comfortable around other people. And also, I'll just miss the environment of Bethel. I want to attend Thomas Nelson for the next two years, earn an associate's in political science and business administration, then go off to William Mary, get the bachelor's and have a law degree after those seven years. But um, I really want to start my life and become my own individual, more importantly, the best version of myself. My plan to attend James Madison University, uh, and I'll be in the Honors College. So I'm really looking forward to um, branching out, meeting new people, trying new things, and I think going to such a big university will make that very easy to do. What I'm looking forward to most is my new start in a new career at the Apprentice School. It's going to be a great change for me, and I feel like it's going to shape me and mold me as an individual. College, uh, pursuing success, uh, pursuing a more academic excellence, as Mr. Saunders would say. Um, I think college is going to be a good challenge for me. I'm welcoming it as it comes. I plan to join the Air Force uh, from the summer following my graduation and hopefully uh, get a college degree in computer science. Um, my favorite class around all of high school is probably my government class this year. The teacher was very helpful with teaching me about what I should be as a citizen and helping me through all sorts of different things, through voting and signing up to be a voter. I think in general it was my Governor's Health Sciences Academy because it's really geared toward um, what I want to pursue in the future. So it's something that I was passionate about, made it really easy to learn and have fun. My favorite class in high school is probably uh, English, simply for um, the creative process I was allowed to have in it. Favorite class was forensics because all my life I really had to, you know, uh, just had to place my heart for forensics and taking that class just reassured me that I wanted to go in that field after I graduated. I'm most proud of my JRTC accomplishments because I went from being part of first class to now being brigade commander and cadet colonel, so that's one thing. And then being involved in different things in school, like being a Governor's Health Science Academy ambassador, principal's um, advisory and consulting team, student council. I'm actually very proud of myself, honestly, for sticking through my AP classes, my dual enrollment classes, um, learning how to study correctly, how to get the information down, how to learn it, because that's like a big part of going through with your education is learning what works for you. So I'm proud of myself for learning how to do that. I'm most proud of being able to get to the point that I am in now, through all the trials and tribulations that I've had to go through to get here. I'm proud of that I was able to stay vigilant through the entire thing. Probably most proud of having gone to governor's school 
and being able to say that I went through that program because it was very difficult at times and it's very rigorous and you do learn a lot about the strand you're going into. I believe my parents helped me the most because they just supported me and always told me to just keep going forward and don't look back and helping me to get over my mistakes. There are so many people, my parents, teachers, counselors, I like the list goes on, coaches, just helping me, keeping me motivated and keeping me like strong-minded, like I'll get there. It's gonna be a little hard, but I'll get there. So thank you to really everybody.